Hello, in this short video you'll learn how to make a real cool wooden gladius roman sword. Okay, first you need obviously a good idea or something you want to recreate out of a movie you like, uh, from a photo out of the internet. And you need a few tools as well, a glue gun, uh, some spray paint in those colors you like. I bought for example chrome, gold chrome and silver chrome, and black and white. You'll need four tools, some uh, sandpaper, a wood file, a wood planer, a saw uh, to treat your wood. And wood I would recommend to simply take uh, a piece of wood out of a slatted frame. Uh, those wood isn't expensive and is already pretty, pretty slim and uh, like perfect for um, making swords, wooden swords out of it. Yeah, and then we start by drawing with an adding on one side uh, the handle and the blade. Um, as length you simply will have to look in the internet how long those swords are. For example, the Gladius is a really short sword. I chose 80 centimeters in total. Um, but of course, if you want to build a uh, medieval knight sword, then you'll go over a meter or something like this. So there it's personal preferences as well as your handle will look especially or that, for example, my blade has a uh, curve in there. This is like total personal preference. Yeah, and then just like that in those short sequences, you've seen how I made the blade. Just take your time, uh, don't rush and uh, take off uh, wood and um, make sure that you don't destroy kind of the, the general shape especially if your blade has curves in it or something like this then uh, it's pretty tricky um, yeah and in the end with some sandpaper really take your time make the blade really nice and clean and uh, then we are ready to go to spray paint and there it's uh, not too special you can cover a few areas or for example your handle with duct tape so that you give your blade a chrome color and your handle a black color or what, whatever you want and two important things first if the spray paint is kind of dripping because it will the duct tape won't cover everything because the spray paint simply will flow under the duct tape uh, no problem because once it's dried uh, you can go with a black adding over it and then it looks really nice and clean and you see no difference between a black adding and the black spray paint and second thing really important let it dry because if you if it's not fully dry and you add a few details or whatever then you'll see your fingerprints and that's not nice for the handle i chose a black string fits perfectly i would recommend spraying it black under it because if not you might see some wood through the string and you can simply fix it now with some hot glue the the hot glue fits perfectly on the wood and the string and connects everything really nice and then last but not least you want to add a few details it really adds something on your blade it really looks nicer that, that way i think uh, for example the last sword i did were the viking sword and they added a few viking runes uh, with roman <laughs> it was really possible because obviously romans use our letters so i simply chose a few roman numbers uh, like i did my birth date and 2022 because there the blade was made obviously and I chose a Roman sign from a Caesar and a spore it's simply Roman I think yeah. and done as you've seen it's really not too hard it took me less than an hour and uh, it's it's really possible to to recreate you don't need two special tools or whatever it's not too expensive it's a really nice hobby and if you have any favorite swords then you can really easily recreate them they are a nice decorative item and also usable like i'm fighting with them trying out a few fight moves and something like that out of a few new movies and so on and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it if you have a few ideas what else i could do then uh, simply tell me kind of challenge me what type of sword you want to see out of lord of the rings or percy jackson or what whatever you want for example there are the new series out of uh, rings of power from lord of the rings there i'll definitely recreate a few swords i've seen in the trailer 
And um, yeah, then I'd say thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And bye bye.